I feel like in general we're all aware of nepotism babies to some degree. Like I know Lily Rose Depp is the daughter of Johnny Depp and Amber Rose. Like that that that, that feels that feels common knowledge. Or that Maud Apatow is the daughter of Judd Apatow. You know the guy who's famous for he could have killed him. That's pure out of control rage and violence. <laughs> I'm going to. He could have killed him. <laughs> I mean, it was mean to slap him, but I don't think that was going to kill him, Judd. But just recently, New York Magazine showed this cover, and the conversation around nepotism babies sprung up in a bigger way. The people on this cover, I think, are pretty well known as nepotism babies, but the Vulture posted an in-depth breakdown of all the nepotism babies, and it kind of blew my mind. It's the type of information that you read and just never want to ever pursue anything ever again, ever. So trigger warning for just hopelessness. <laughs> These guys are so young. They're my age. So yes, it's jealousy, but they came out on TikTok from how I knew them and now they're big like on SNL Come to find out Martin here is the son of an SNL producer and John Higgins is the son of Mr. Steve Higgins Hey, I need some more sandwiches Oh no, it's John because of course, how would you get on SNL in such like a key role? But the thing is, they're funny. Like they are funny. But also the other guy in that group who's not a nepotism baby is like by far the funniest. And I feel like he would have not gotten that. Well, I don't feel like he would have not gotten that chance without his friends being nepotism babies. You know how it goes. Zoom calls all day. It's kind of driving me nuts. But uh, I just realized I haven't thought about Trump in three days. I love this presidency. Dude. But like this guy is funny. This guy's actually funny. And by the way, this is a TikTok I saw like, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something. And then look at this on SNL. I am taking my fiance apple picking. It's really exciting. Oh, the old ball and chain. <laughs> Lovely. Meanwhile, I'm over here going on a date with my Netflix account. <laughs> oh my. Oh, you're just jealous. Yes, yes. Yes, they are funny and they deserve it because they are funny, but also they wouldn't have gotten that chance without nepotism and it makes me so fucking mad. <sighs> Fuck all that. That was the first one that I've looked at. Okay, we gotta keep going. Oh shit, wait, Colin Hanks is Tom Hanks' son? I didn't know that. Have you ever had a period of your life where you just fell apart that I didn't know about because. <laughs> Colin has not publicly snapped, but have you seen his brother, Chet? Big up, big up the whole island on Massive. It's your boy Chet and I coming straight from that Golden Gloves, you want to see that's my nepotism baby right there. Back the fuck off! If you've seen Vampire Diaries, listen, I don't know how I didn't know this. Stephen McQueen is Steve McQueen's son and Neil Adams' daughter. Neil, I don't know how I didn't see it. His name is literally Stephen McQueen. Nice phone. Does it ever ring? That's actually real footage of Stephen McQueen in an open casting call. Oh, you thought you thought you had a chance, but I'm gonna go in there and say I'm Steve McQueen. <laughs> This is one that I somehow didn't know about. Billy Lord is the daughter of Carrie Fisher, who's the daughter of Debbie Reynolds. I knew that, but Billy Lord? And it's crazy because I've actually got footage of Billy Lord going into audition for her role in Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm too legendary, it's so Here comes the 1%. Money. money. I got money. Ooh, money. money. I Imagine being another actress, working your whole life, perfecting your craft, and Billy Lord walks in and goes, I'm the daughter of Leia, so... And again, she's talented, she's very talented. But the thing is, there's so many good actors. There's like a lot of really good actors. But like, yeah, imagine going into an audition and your competition is the daughter of Leia. How discouraging is that? This one, I can't be mad about. Eugene Levy being Dan Levy's dad, cause they, you know, they did that TV show. You say, wow, you are Gucci. Or Gooch, I've heard. Yeah, see like this, I love them and they don't hide it. Unlike Lily Rose Depp, when she said, the internet cares a lot more about who your family is than the people who are casting you in things. Really? 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 Cause I feel like you get the whole chip off the old block benefit where it's like you have some of their fame by association. That's just true. That's how people view it. That's the reality. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that even though she is very talented, she is very talented, there are so many other people who have the exact same or more talent than her that aren't getting those jobs because she's the daughter of Johnny Depp and Amber Rose. And that's not taking away her talent. She is very talented, but to just deny that that has anything to do with it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ben Platt and Mark Platt? Ben Platt, like from Dear Evan Hansen, his dad produced that movie. That's why? You can't tell me that anybody other than this man's literal father would cast this 50-year-old man to play a high schooler in this movie. This is what nepotism looks like. Look at him. That's a 70 year old man. He's playing a teenager in high school. Just think how many talented people could have done that that don't look like they're 97 years old. Listen, 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 listen. You are not gonna get me to talk shit about Maya Hawk. You're not, it's not gonna happen. She's not hiding it. She's not running from it. She's great. She's a very talented. I love Ethan Hawk. 
I love Uma Thurman. In my mind, she gets the Nepo Pass. Nepo Pass? I'm not even kidding. Nepo Pass. Nepo Pass. My mom asked for advice today about coming in to talk to you because yeah. I, that's what I do. I get to ask for advice. Um, it's a big luxury of mine. See, she acknowledges it. She's great. She's wonderful. Also, Stranger Things does this thing where they hire people who were famous in the 80s. I mean, I think it's a very clear choice to like to like have the child of massive stars from the 80s. I think it's, I, it makes sense, and she deserves everything, and she's great. But there's other really great actresses, but she acknowledges it, she's great. Please give her the Nepo pass with me. What? Lily Collins is a Nepo baby? Oh my god, is this a famous one that I didn't know about? Season one and season two, Emily was coming into herself. She was oh here, she's gonna show everyone what oh she was Oh my god, that's Phil Collins' of. daughter, and what? Now also, don't people have a lot of bad things to say about Emily in Paris? I've only heard, I've never watched it. Nepotism will help my daughter succeed. She's one, I'm gonna say, is very talented. She is. Now, Jack Quaid, I know. Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan's daughter. Dennis Quaid's son. He's their boy. He's their little boy. And he's my boy from The Boys. I like Jack Quaid. I think he's great. He's a very talented actor. I love him in The Boys. I do, however, know that I hate his dad. And he brought back a sense of uh, common sense. He stuck to his guns and his principles. He was a great man. Uh, he's talking about Ronald Reagan there. You know, the president who famously flooded black communities with drugs and then imprisoned them. He was a great man. I don't know about great man, but he definitely makes for a great urinal these days. If a genie granted me three wishes, my first wish would be to bring back Ronald Reagan so I could beat him back to death. But anyways, that's Dennis Quaid, not Jack Quaid. So I look at Jack and I go, you're a sweet guy. You probably had a tough childhood with him as your father. John David Washington, this is one that's like... It felt like his branding and his PR was, Hey everybody, I'm Denzel Washington's son. A lot of these other nepotism babies, I felt like I learned about them on their own. But John David Washington and Scott Eastwood is another one. They both feel like they came up as their parents' kids. But I think specifically John David Washington and Scott Eastwood feel like their whole rise to fame was literally related to their parents. Hello, this is Ron Stallworth calling. Wait, what the hell? Riley Kill is the daughter of Austin Butler? But shit, I didn't know Elvis Presley had uh, had grandkids. Well, shout out Riley Kill. What do you think the odds are that Austin Butler has pursued her like a demon? I'd say 100%. Zoe Dutch is Leah Thompson's daughter? It's Guys, her! her. That was like when I would watch old uh, 80s movies with my parents, I would see her and I would have a crush on her. That's Leah Thompson. Wait a second. No way. And Zoe Dutch from Before I Fall. Oh my God. Yeah, no worries. I'm so glad we didn't go. Oh my God. I loved Zoe Dutch separately from Leah Thompson. But the thing is, it's not about the talent. She's very talented. She's very talented. But it's the frustration that they're getting opportunities that other people aren't. But also, makes sense, they have an in. And this one, be real. Bill Skarsgård being the son of Stellan Skarsgård. For some reason, this one feels different because it feels like it's just like, oh yeah, it's that family. You know, it's just that Scandinavian family that's going to be in every single A24 film. And Bill Skarsgård is the exact same mold as Austin Butler. But for some reason, they have sexual charisma in two separate ways. I don't need to be talking about sexual charisma. Let's go on. Oh, look, another Skarsgård. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. What? Miley Cyrus is the daughter of Dolly Parton? What? That's not- that's not true. What? According to Wide Open Country, the older singer is actually Miley's godmother. Okay, 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 okay. I honestly feel like Billy Ray Cyrus is more of the nepotism baby. Dakota Johnson is the daughter of Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. Here's the thing. With Dakota Johnson, I know this is like a big one that people talk about. I think that the way that Dakota Johnson just destroyed Ellen, she can do whatever she wants, and she can be whoever she wants. You turned 30. I did. And, um, how was the party? I wasn't invited. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. You were invited. What a god. Zoe Kravitz is the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and Liza Bonet. I, I think everybody knows that. Hardcore nepotism, baby. But also, she is Catwoman, and nobody else could be Catwoman, and she's perfect as Catwoman. Gwyneth Paltrow is the goddaughter of Steven Spielberg. And then those, I don't know those people, but the, that's insane. How did I not know that? Liza Minnelli is Judy Garland's daughter? Wait, 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 Martin Sheen has Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen. I thought Emilio Estevez was Charlie Sheen. Wait, what the hell? Angelina Jolie is John Voight's daughter. John Voight, another Ronald Reagan lover, by the way. That's nuts. I had a friend whose mom looked like Angelina Jolie growing up. I think she died on a Segway, though. Like, crashed it. Michael Douglas is the daughter of Diana Douglas and Kirk Douglas. Son, God! I get it. Henry Fonda and Jane Fonda? For some reason in my mind, they were married, but... Daughter? Oh no, but this one's great. Jamie Lee Curtis being the daughter of Jane LA, the, the, the woman from Scream, and now Jamie Lee Curtis is the Halloween woman. It's, it's, it's great. I love that. <sighs> ben Stiller is a nepotism baby. Shit, he's so good, but shit. This is actually how Ben Stiller got his first role. 
Kiefer Sutherland is Donald Sutherland's son? What? Okay, don't, don't. Robert Downey Jr. and Kiefer Sutherland being roommates, that's not nepotism. But that is interesting. Do you think they ever explored each other physically? I don't need it. Steven Spielberg is the godfather of Drew Barrymore? How many god kids this guy fucking got? They left that old part out of the Fablemans. Um, I'm gonna just shepherd in every single actress. Holy shit, James Brolin. How did I not put that? Barbara Streisand's his stepmom? It's gotta be a weird energy at family dinners with Barbara Streisand and Thanos hanging out. Okay, so these are people who aren't necessarily nepotism babies because their parents weren't like very successful, but their parents were in the industry so they like had some sort of connection. Kristen Stewart and Jordan Woods, both daughters of like crew people. Billie Eilish's mom is a voice actress. Chris Pine's parents are actors. So really when Harry Styles spit on him, it was a rallying cry for the working class. <laughs> I love the sad music on that. Wait, Jonah Hill and Beanie Feldstein, are they are they siblings? Wait, children of the tour account. They are what? They they are siblings of the dead manager of Maroon 5. Are they siblings? They're both children of that accountant. Are they step siblings? Who the hell are Brandy and Ray J, cousins of Snoop Dogg? Of course. Of course. Oof, Lucas Hedges, grandson of the HBO vice president. That's Phoebe Bridgers, daughter of a set builder. Don't even start with me. Do not even put Phoebe Bridgers next to that HBO vice president. Lucas Edges is great. Lucas Edges is great. But Phoebe Bridgers is not a nepotism baby. And if you say she is, I will strangle you. Not actually, I wouldn't actually do that. You can say whatever you want. Shirzy Ronan, daughter of an actor. Evan Rachel Wood, daughter of a theater director. Megan Markle. Are you kidding me? Are you gonna put Megan Markle on here? Daughter of a lighting director. Did her dad being a lighting director help her become a princess? Potentially. Oh my God, Zoe Deschanel and Emily Deschanel are siblings. I should have known that. I should have known that. They're daughters of a cinematographer and an actress. And Zoe Deschanel is married to a property brother, and the property brothers kiss each other in each of the houses they tour. And Emily Deschanel was in Bones. Something to think. What the hell am I talking about? Ooh, Timothy Chalamet. Wait, nephew of the creator of Party of Five and the Dirty Lover? If we're throwing nephew and niece in here, I mean, it didn't hurt him. It didn't hurt him. Timothy Chalamet is like. Literally, he's so talented. He actually deserves everything and it's not like oh multiple people could have gotten that role He's uniquely talented and so good like Phoebe Bridgers. Am I one of those people? Am I a Timothy Chalamet Phoebe Bridgers type person? Fuck me Oh Maggie Gyllenhaal and Jake Gyllenhaal are siblings. No shit Obviously Jake Gyllenhaal however is a piece of shit and he actually can I just say this the things that Taylor Swift has said about Jake Gyllenhaal in like all too well 10 minutes version are things that he has also criticized about himself in retrospect. He talks about how he used to be pretentious. He talks about how he used to be selfish and, and this and that, and the third, everything that she was saying, it feels like he's self-reflective. Or is he just saying that to appease the people? It doesn't feel like it, it doesn't feel like it, but he's also a phenomenal actor, so. Oh my God, friends. Oh, they're both, they're both daughters of actresses. It's, one is a daughter, one is a son. What is wrong with me? Luke Wilson and Owen Wilson, obviously brothers, their dad's a photographer, who? But uh, it said that this guy was a photographer, but when I look up Robert Andrew Wilson photography, so maybe he just sucked. Oh my God, Leonardo DiCaprio and Olivia Wilde. His dad was a comics artist? His dad was making silly little pictures? And Olivia Wilde, daughter of journalists. That's interesting. She, I think, is a very talented director. And I know Don't Worry Darling gets a lot of shit. Let's not ignore Booksmart just because we don't necessarily like everything about her. I do think that she's a talented director. I'm sorry, I do. I don't know who Julian is, but Ansel Elgort is the son of a hugely famous photographer. Also, he's a piece of shit, but let's look at the pictures his dad used to take. Yeah, he's, he, he, he it's in, this guy is like, a huge icon in photography. And his son turned out to be a little rat piece of shit. Hey, yo, I just scrolled down and I just saw something crazy. Brooklyn Beckham, David and Victoria Beckham's son, is a footballer, cum model, cum photographer, cum chef? Hey, yo, dude, you're a cum model? Cum photographer? Cum chef? Aside from the cum chef, looking at this is like pretty disheartening. Cause all of these people have their careers in some way or another because they already had a connection to it. And that's fine, I get that. Just logic Logically, it makes sense. I get it. But, but it's, it's already, already so hard to get into that industry and to know that it's even that harder by just seeing that list of all the people who get in based on connection. People can do it. People have done it. All those people who have nepotism babies didn't have nepotism parents. So they got there on their own and so can we and we'll all do it. Fuck. I am utterly depressed, heartbroken, and destroyed. But I love you all very much. Please subscribe. Please do it. If you don't subscribe, honestly, at this point, I'm gonna maybe start crying, and, and, in, and in a way that's not funny, like in a way that's like just tears sobbing streaming down. How about this? If I get 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I, 